Hey, it's Adam from Collection DX, and look at this. Today I've got my hands on the movie realization of Batman and the Bat Pod. Basically, it's a fancy packaged uh, SIC from Bandai. And uh, as you can see, the box is huge. And uh, this came courtesy of Angles.com, thanks to Ken as always. Um, this is very cool. Obviously, the box is enormous. And the lid opens. They're showing everything inside. So, I literally just picked this up a couple hours ago from Collection DX headquarters. And uh, I wanted to shoot it before I started taking it out of the package. So, there you go. Well, let's dive in. And once you get it out of the package, basically, you get in the box. You get the Batman. They give you a he comes with the closed fist hand, which is almost identical to the ones that are on, except those have holes for the handlebars for the bat pods. So you may end up wanting to keep these in the package. Give you a hand to hold the gun. The gun is a separate accessory. I just kind of left it in there. And they give you a hand to hold the batarang. Very nicely done. Uh, figure is... Uh, very well sculpted. Very nicely done. Um, you know, they, this anime may not come out on video, but it's a little reddish orange in here. I don't remember the costume being that way in the movie, but it might be sort of a reinterpretation of the character. But uh, nice joint work in the, in the waist. His upper torso and lower torso are in two separate ball sockets. The head's got... So if you've ever owned an SIC before, the Soul of Imaginative Chagokin, then um, you know what to expect. Uh, fit and finish is really nice on this. They've added some double joints, so you can really get the arms in close. Everything stays tight. While I've got that there, I want to show you. The arm pieces do pop out. So the blades he uses in the movie are there. They snap right back down. And it's good. It's nice. I like it. It's a decent Batman figure. He stands about almost 8 inches tall, I want to say. And, uh, of course, the main piece here is, of course, the Bat Pod. They do give you a stand, so it'll hold it in place. It won't go rolling along on you. But as you can see, that's a big one. And yes, there is a lot of die cast metal on this. This has got some nice heft to it. Uh, the handlebars do turn a little bit. The wheels are rubber and there is tread on there. And they even kind of look like they're a little dirty. Like it's been driving on the street, which is nice. But it's a solid piece. Uh, not finicky at all, and just yeah, all of like this whole arm, this whole middle section, this arm down here, lots of die cast metal, so it's got a lot of weight to it. And uh, like I said, they give you a stand, so if you want to make sure it doesn't roll along, you can do that. And yes, Batman does fit on the bike, so uh, let's see if I can do this on camera. Not too tricky. Pretty pretty straightforward. Uh, the cape is indeed made of rubber. Let me get this out of the way so I can turn into the camera. And the hands will hold the handlebars, so kind of clip that in there. Clip that in there. Gonna want to adjust his legs. Yes, the leg just did pop out of the socket, but it goes right back on. And again, get the foot on there. And voila, you've got Batman on the Bat Pod. Um, doesn't do much else than that. Obviously, it looks good. It, it, I mean, it could make a nice toy. I think adult collectors are just going to go nuts for it. The um, detail on this is extraordinary. I really, really like this. 
So, you know, I don't normally collect Batman, and I know we don't normally review superheroes, but this is, of course, from Bandai, in their, what they're calling their movie realization line. And, uh, yeah, it looks sweet. So if you're a Batman fan, you're an action figure fan, I think this is one you're going to definitely want to pick up. Um, I, at first, I was a little disappointed the cape was rubber, or you know, plastic, I should say. But I think that actually works pretty well, because at least that way the cape kind of sits where it's supposed to. And there we go. Yeah, I really like that. That just sweet looking. So I think this bad boy is running about $80, $85, I think, on edangles.com right now. Um, so get one while you can. I think there, if you're a Batman fan or an action figure fan, you may kick yourself for not grabbing this one while you can. So... Uh, I give it a big thumbs up. This is going to look real nice on the shelf with some of my other stuff. So, yeah, I, I really think you guys ought to check that out. So, again, thanks to Angles.com where I got this Batman Bat Pod combo. And you can get yours there too. Until next time, I'm Adam.